Happy Friday. I'm so glad we can be here together today. I have my trusty assistant here today who is going to be monitoring me to make sure we stay on target with our time. <laughs> um, we have a resistance band class today. If you have a loop, you can grab it. I'm not sure we're going to use it today because we don't really have much planned with it, but you never know. Might throw it in there at some point. Uh, if you do have a band like this, an open-ended band, grab it. If you've got different resistances, make sure they're, net, they're accessible so that you can use them. Uh, perhaps throughout uh, the workout today. We have got a circuit. We're going to be running through it definitely twice. We'll be working um, and seeing how we are doing with time. We're going to take a nice big chunk towards the end to stretch. So uh, just so you know, we do have a little bit of time reserved for that today. So as with any workout you do, please make sure you honor your body. Make any modifications you feel necessary. Do not feel like you have to muscle through it if it does not feel good for your body. Listen, tune in, and check in and make sure it works for you. Make sure you have some water. Make sure you have a smile on your face. And let's go ahead and hit the road running today. Start marching out. So, again, just workouts or warm-ups are just to get us mentally ready. Today's class is going to be nice and steady. We're just going to work with those bands. It's like... I think my new favorite thing a little bit. I've been working with them for years, but I haven't really done a lot of full classes with resistance bands. It's such a treat, actually, to be doing something a little different other than just your dumbbell, our typical dumbbell workout here. Resistance bands really just kind of change things up a little bit. Good. All right. Good. Stay here. All right. Continue to march. Let's take a couple of big inhales as you're marching. And exhale, release the arms down and just kind of go at your own pace here, breathing in and breathing out. Nice job. Beautiful. Excellent. Almost there. Beautiful. Last one. Go ahead and breathe in. Extend the arms up overhead. Plant your feet down to the ground. Go ahead and let's grab hold of our left wrist. Lean over towards the right. Nice and tall through the spine. Pull up through the belly. Inhale. Make your way through center. Right hand over to the left. Open up that side body. Nice job. Inhale. Come back through center. Sweep those arms out to a strong T. Start your arm circles and march it out again. Good. So I want you to find length through the arms. Try not to strain through the throat or through the neck or through the shoulders here. Good. Beautiful. Nice job. All right, let's stay here for another 10. Then we're gonna reverse our direction. In five, four, three, two, one, reverse direction, other way. Notice how that feels a little different. Working a little bit of different muscles here. Nice job. Good. Nice job. Well done. Excellent. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, rest your hands down, bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna bend in through the knees, step it out to the right. Here we go. Nice job, beautiful. Try to keep that upper body solid or not shifting side to side, but just working that leg, gain that glute max, glute medius, and that piriformis and glute minimus nice and warmed up here. Nice job. Take it here for another 10. We're going to switch over to that left side in five, four, three. You got it. Two, one. Bring it back through center. I'm going to try not to hit my dog. Here we go. Other side. Nice job. That's it. Pull those shoulder blades back. Stand up nice and tall through the upper body. Great. Right knee is bent. Excellent. Beautiful. Fantastic. Stay with me for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. Bring it back through center. March it out. Once, rinse it out. Nice job. Fantastic. All righty. Let's go ahead. We are going to go into some squats. Land your feet hip distance apart. We're going down. We're coming back up in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice. Fantastic. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. Great job. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up tall. Open those feet. Nice and wide. Feet slightly externally rotate. Arms are going to extend out. We're going to do a little finger to toe touch. If you're not comfortable raising, you're lowering your head below your heart. Simply go into a little lift and lower without dipping your head down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Now you don't have to touch that toe. Remember, think just going in that general direction. Bottom arm reaches nice and tall through the upper body. Use those hamstrings and glutes to lift and lower you up. You got it. Nice job. Feels like a nice little stretch. Good. You got it. Give me 10 more seconds. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one, come back through center, release those arms. Turn that right leg out so that the toes are up towards the top of the mat. Pivot on that back foot, resting the ball of the foot on the floor. Bend into that front knee, making sure that knee is tracking with your two big front toes. Hips are facing forward. Reach that left arm up, press back through that left heel. Give that hip a nice little opener here. Press down into that lunge here so that you're getting a nice opening through the hip, but you're also keeping your body nice and tall so we're not leaning in, but staying nice and tall. Center of gravity is right in the middle of our body here. Nice job. Now, maybe you stay here. Maybe you open up a little bit towards the right. Hold that balance. Nice job. Come back through center. Go ahead and extend the leg. Turn back through center and then pivot over to the other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Sweep that right arm up. Open up tall. Press back through that right heel. Give that hip a nice little opener here. Beautiful. Take that right arm gently. Tip over to the left if you want to. Opening up that psoas. Beautiful. Come back through center. This time, take that back leg, meet it front, and let's march it out one last time. Good job. Hopefully, you're feeling a little bit more ready, a little bit more warmer in the body. Beautiful. All right. Let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Nice job. Land those feet. Go ahead and grab some water. Beautiful. Okay. So we just finished off with some lunges to kind of open up the hip. We're going to go right into some lunges today with a squat to lunge. So we're going to be doing a little one-sided work here, then we're going to take a little break, do some upper body, and then we're going to come back to the other side here. So we're going to take a squat, then a right foot back lunge, back through center, squat, and then a lunge. So we're not going to do this with any other weight other than our body weight. Take your time through it. If you're out of sequence, if you're going faster or slower than me, don't, no problem. Just go at your own pace, 45 seconds. Then we're going to take a little break. We're going to use our bands and do some upper body. So go ahead, feet hip distance apart, maybe a little wider. Three, two, one. Start with our squats. Lift, right foot back, drop that knee. Come back through center. Make sure hips are back. 
That's it. Nice job. Whoop. <laughs> Went down a little too low there. That's it. Nice job. 15 seconds to go. Another little heat builder here. Nice and steady. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Rest those legs. Fantastic. All right. We're going to take an open-ended band here. Uh, we're going to do what's called pulling the sword. So left hand is going to hold, elbows bent. The right arm is going to open. We're going to twist, open, gentle twist, back through center. Here we go. That's it. Nice job, Lily, Bailey. Sorry. <laughs> Good job. So pelvis is pretty fair, stable, forward. Good job. Nice. You've got it. Good job. You got it. You got this, Bailey. Good. Keep going for five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Nice job. All right. Take that band, set it off to the side. Come on, Bales. Come on, come lie down. All right. We're going to go ahead and do the other side foot back. We're going to go into our squats with our left leg in that lunge. Here we go. Three, two, one, and we're down. Nice job. Keep your gaze forward. Keep your shoulders down. Find that nice rhythm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice job. Fifteen seconds to go. Beautiful. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo, nice job. Beautiful. Let's grab some water. All right. Oh. All right, we are gonna go into our pulling of the sword on the opposite side. So this time, you've got that band on that right hip. Left arm is going to extend. We're gonna pull it out and open gentle twist back through center. Here we go. Beautiful. Try to keep your wrists as neutral as possible. Fantastic. Beautiful. Great. Fantastic. Beautiful. Keep going. We got five, four, three, two, and one and rest. Nice job. Fantastic. Excellent job. Well done. Right, next, we're going to be going into a bent over. We're going to take our band. We're going to place it underneath the feet. Feet are going to come hip distance apart, maybe a little wider. Now, again, with resistance bands, you have all the control in terms of how much resistance you want to take on. It is entirely up to you. Now, we're going to bend over in a bent knee position, hips kick back. We're going to cross our band and create a nice big X here. We're going to row, pull it back, back through center. Three, two, one. Here we go. Beautiful. That's it. You've got it. Bring those blades together. Keep the back nice and long. Hips kick back, knees behind the toes. You got it. Make sure you focus on keeping the ribs right and neutral. Might be tempting to pop those ribs a little. We wanna really keep those ribs nice and neutral here. You've got it, keep going. 
Excellent. Last 10. Nine. Five. Two. And one. Nice job. Relax and release that band. Fantastic. Excellent job. All right. Next, we're going to take this down to the floor. We're going to set the band underneath our feet. We're going to sit our sits bones down with our legs extended. Now, with our, seat, our placement here, feet can be hip distance apart. I want you to flex in through the feet here. We're going to warm up a little bit of the abs by going into a rotation, getting the obliques nice and warmed up here. Very important that you sit up tall in your sits bones. Raising yourself slightly off the floor does help to keep that spine a little bit more neutral. So if you do have a pillow or a blanket nearby, I encourage you to grab it. Now we're gonna cross our band over again like we just did with our bent over rows. We're gonna be doing similar row, but this time we're focusing on the obliques. So I've got my left arm on top. You can have your right, it doesn't matter. We're gonna pull and twist back through center, working against that resistance. Pull and twist, back through center. Here we go. Oh. Think core here. As you're rotating, you're creating that concentric movement towards the left. So we're working those obliques. Legs are nice and flexed. 20 seconds in, 25 to go. Beautiful. Great. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Whatever band is on top, I want you to switch the grip, take that band and set it underneath so that there's no friction and they're not rubbing up against each other. Stay tall. Three, two, one, rotate and pull. Opposite side. Now remember, when we go into rotations, you want your spine to always be as spacious as possible. If you were to look at your body and your back is not tall and you're rounding and you're going into rotation, you're going to create compression of the discs between the vertebrae. Long term, not a great thing for the spine. So we always try to work from a space of length and position. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, keep those bands still underneath the feet. We're going to grab our band like a coffee cup. We're going to sit up tall. We're going to lean back, press into the heels, bicep curl here. So we got a little core. We get a little bicep here. Now make sure your wrists are nice and neutral. Press back through the heels here. Nice job. Beautiful. That's it, nice job, almost there. Good, 15 seconds left, stay tall, keep your hips kind of neutral. You're not, no, not neutral. You're kind of sitting back past your sits bones here. Good, we got five, four, three, two, and one, nice job, relax, beautiful. Take that band, set it off to the side. Well done. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna go into some crunches. Let's bring our feet flat onto the floor. Knees are gonna be bent. We're gonna bring our hands behind our head. We've got about 30 seconds worth of regular crunches and we're gonna finish off with those mini crunches. Pelvis is nice and neutral. Low back is not pressing down into the floor, but rather you've got your pelvis kind of nice and even and flat. Elbows either out to the side or tucking in, whatever feels good. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. <sighs> 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 
Beautiful. Nice and even pace here. Fantastic. Stay with me for eight, five, four, three, two, one. Lift. And here we go. Small little crunches. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one rest nice job Woo! fantastic all right set your hands to the side we're going to lift our pelvis just a little bit off the ground so we can set our hands underneath the sacrum here and around the glutes we're going to go into some flutter kicks inhale bend the knees exhale lift them to the sky point the toes energize through the legs if you need to bend your knees that's no problem here we go three two one nice and steady flutter kicks we're gonna take this nice and slow and steady for this first 30 seconds the last 15 seconds we're gonna flutter as if we're trying to get to the shore really fast here but i want it to be really nice and controlled continue to energize through the legs i've got some really nice even strokes even and wide strokes here not going too far down just keeping that core nice and steady <sighs> that lifting of the pelvis helps the low back all right let's get ready in three we're gonna swim it out a little faster two one here we go tiny little flutter kicks little ones little ones maybe lower down a little bit you've got it come on come on five four three two one and rest Woo. <laughs> well done. <laughs> good job, Ludia. Well done, Jean. Good job, Macy. All right, ladies, let's take this to a plank. We're going to finish off this segment in a plank position. We're not using bands for any of this, so just your body weight. We're going to take it into a push up plank, forearm plank, whatever catches your eye and whatever feels best on your body. All right, let's bring it down to the floor, onto our tummy three two one let's get into our plank 45 seconds when you are in your plank think of a building when you build a building you build the building nice and even and stacked so that all the forces can be evenly distributed through the building the body is no different. You want to keep the shoulders, elbows, and wrists aligned. When you're shift here, guess what happens? Tons of pressure goes onto the shoulders. When you're stacked here, you've got even distribution, shoulder, elbow, and wrist. So just make sure that when you're doing this, you're as stacked as possible, giving your body the best opportunity to remain safe. Eight seconds left. Five, four, three two one set your knees down knees wide big toes together press back child's pose all right nice job everyone let's go ahead and take 30 seconds reset grab some water grab what we need fix our hair i know <laughs> i gotta fix mine uh and then we're gonna get back to the top of our circuit one more round and then we're gonna get down and do some stretching so now you know what you've got going on for you maybe you want to add a little bit of a tighter band let's say the bands are like just not working for you today and you're like i kind of want something more feel free to grab your dumbbells remember you don't have to just because i say it's a body work resistance band class doesn't mean that if you want something more that you can't grab it that's entirely up to you all right so we're going to go back to our squat with our lunges body weight only on this one unless you want to hold on to some weights that's entirely up to you all right let's get ready starting in 10 seconds we're going to start with that right leg squat to a reverse lunge in three two one here we go
Beautiful. We're in that last little bit here, that last third. 10 seconds left. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Ha. Great job. All right, I'm going to switch things up just a little. I'm going to go a little heavier on the resistance. That's going to be my little addition for today. Take it if you want to, leave it. Now remember, you can resist to create the resistance yourself. So you have that opportunity, if you have a lighter band, to tighten it up. All right, left hand to the hip, right arm is gonna extend, pull that sword, here we go. Slight rotation, back to your center. Beautiful. Good. Good, getting some good shoulder work in here. A nice little bit of rotation, working the core as well. Nice job. We're about 25 seconds in, 20 to go. Great. Beautiful. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Fantastic. Set that band to the side, shake that out of the shoulders. We're gonna get ready to go into the other side. This time, left leg back, squat to reverse lunge. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice and steady pace. I really like to take my time when I'm training because so often when we're rushing, we're kind of, out of tune with the body you're not connecting in because we're so busy to get through the repetitions that we're not cluing into what the body's saying that's step number one listening 10 9 8 7 6 5 you've got it four three two and one nice job Woo! fantastic shake that off all right let's grab some water well done all right so grabbing the sword other side hooking on to that right hip or whatever side you're doing next three two one here we go nice beautiful excellent 15 in 30 to go you got it beautiful nice and neutral here so you're not moving your pelvis and twisting just the upper part of your trunk nice job 10 to go you got it eight seven six five four three two and one nice job relax Woo! well done shake that off beautiful all right we're going to go into our bent over crossover rows working again a little bit more of the traps here so feet underneath on top of the band we're going to cross that band and create a nice big X here. We're going to hinge from the hips, bending from the knees. Really get that nice placement. Cross it into a big X. Three, two, one, and here we go. Beautiful. Getting a little added work here of that little isometric squat here. Just being in this position. Get to open up the heart, pull back through the blades, really getting those traps and rhomboids nice and strong. Helps us keep from finding that slouch. As my mother would say, stop slouching all the time. 
I was a big sloucher when I was a kid. I see my kids doing it now and I'm saying the same thing. <laughs> 15 seconds. You realize how bad it is. It becomes a habit, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You got it. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Fantastic. Release. Excellent. Woo! All right. Take a little water break and then let's go down to the floor. Again, if you've got something to prop yourself up a little bit, grab it because it always helps keep that spine nice and long. It really helps to keep the pelvis nice and neutral. So, and it also feels a little more comfortable to be honest with you. So, all right. So we're gonna make our way down to the floor. We're gonna go ahead and do our rotations. Again, this is, always working it's going to be working the upper body but we're also getting that added benefit of the core as well so taking that band setting it underneath the feet we're going to start by crossing one band over the other tension up that band three two one so think belly button forward upper spine twisting Beautiful, a really nice opening of the elbow. It kind of lifts as we rotate. Oh. Good, 15 in, 30 to go. Beautiful, you got it. 15 to go. Whew. 11, 10, keep going, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, rest, nice job, all right, we're going to switch that grip, so whatever band or side was underneath, we're going to switch it to the top, we're going to get going in 3, 2, 1, other side, Really nice to connect into the body here with these band workouts. And just in general, when we take things slower, really have that opportunity to just be present, be aware of how it feels, see if we can make some changes to our posture, just to be as more efficient within the body. <sighs> Great, 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Nice job. Fantastic. All right. So we're going to go into our slight little half roll down with our hammer curl bicep curls. So tension up that band, flexing through the feet, lengthen through the spine. From there, roll past your sits bones. I got a bit of a heavier band. So it's going to feel a little different this round. Three two, one. If you want it to be a little tougher, you've got the power in your hand here. You can always make it a little bit more tighter on that resistance. Really a choice you get to make. Stay tall, square off those shoulders. You've got it. Woo. 15 in, 30 to go. Try to find that nice rhythm on the lowering as well as on the lifting. You're kind of working that muscle. <sighs> Try not to let those arms snap back to base here. 15 to go. <sighs> 10, 9, 8. You're almost there. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Nice job. Relax. Whew. Really good. Ha. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a little bit of water. All right. We've got our core. And guess what? We're almost done. We're going to get into some nice stretches as we finish up this next little bit. Got about three efforts here coming up. So let's lie down on our back. Feet flat to the floor. Knees bent. Hands behind the head. 
All right, we're gonna go into our regular crunches. Make sure you start with that neutral spine. Low back not pressing down to the floor. Pelvis nice and neutral. Inhale, lift the back of the neck. Exhale, pull up. Great job. 10 seconds in. 20 more to go here. Then we're going to go into our mini crunches next. Try to let the head feel heavy. It might be tempting to use your neck here a little bit. It's something I'm constantly reminding my body about. All right, keep going for five. We're going to go into our little mini crunches here in three, two, one. Lift yourself up and pulse. Use that core. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. You've got it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and rest. Nice job. Woo, fantastic. All right, we're going to go ahead and make our way into our flutter kicks, it's lifting that sacrum a few inches off the floor so you can set your hands underneath. Now, I noticed some of you just took a blanket or a pillow underneath your sacrum. You can also use that if you want to. All right, knees, when you're ready, go ahead and extend the legs. Relax through the upper body. Point the toes. Here we go. Start with those nice long and open flutter kicks. Nice and steady pace, not rushing. I always think back to the years when we were in Canada and we'd go into the lake in front of our house and I'd flutter kick my legs. I'd be like panic swimming because I'm not a very strong swimmer. If only we just took an extra few minutes to slow things down, use a lot less energy, <laughs> a lot less panic. All right, in four, we're going to go into those bit faster kicks here. Three, two, one, here we go. 15, 14, that's it. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and rest. Woo! Nice job. Fantastic. Well done. All righty. When you're ready, let's make our way into our supine, our prone position to get ready to go into our planks. You get to choose whichever version feels best for you, forearm, push-up, kneeling, whatever. All right. Last 45 seconds, ladies, and then we have a really nice stretch coming up. Let's go ahead, extend the legs however you want to be. Three, two, one, let's do it. Fifteen seconds to go. Stay with me this whole, whole time. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set your knees down. Press back. Child's pose. Well done. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my shoes off. I'm also going to go ahead and switch the music, something a little softer. Just go ahead and make yourself comfortable here in child's pose. You need not keep the arms extended right now. Maybe you want to have something a little bit more relaxed, a little more spacious, so you can always bend the elbows, make it feel really nice and comfortable on the upper body. You take a moment just to release the shoulders, release the hips. Know that what you're doing right now is just enough. So let go of any expectations. 
And just allow yourself to freely breathe into the back of the body and breathe out through the nose, or maybe even sigh it out of the mouth. See how that breath just changes the quality, the feeling in the back of the body. Great. Now, when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our way into our extended child's pose. We're going to just start off with a gentle lateral bend here just to get that QL and ribs nice and open, shoulder nice and open. Walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Extend that right arm maybe an inch north of the left. Now, as you approach your stretch here, think more about creating space. Think less about forcing the body. And too often we come to our stretching regime with this idea of, oh, I'm really gonna push into it. And truly, 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 long-term, that's just gonna cause an injury at some point. So we wanna just come to this with this idea of finding some space for ourselves. Terrific. Make your way back through center. And then we're going to walk over to the other side, taking that left arm a little north of the right. Wonderful. And then make our way back towards center. Pressing into the heels of the hands, let's go ahead and shift our weight forward. Bring our hands shoulder distance apart between underneath the shoulders. Back is long. We're going to go into a little twist here. So take the left arm out towards the side. Exhale, needle and thread right underneath, twisting towards the right. Opening up the right shoulder. Wonderful. Press into the right arm. It come back to center. Right arm extends out to 90 degrees. Exhale, needle and thread. Twist towards the left. Open up that left shoulder towards the right side of the room. It might be tempting to take that hip and shift it all the way over to the right, but I want you to try to keep... Oops. Keep those hips nice and neutral here. Wonderful. Go ahead and press into that left hand. Come back in towards center. We're going to go ahead and find a little cat cow here. Back is nice and long. Inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, roll the shoulder blades back, open up the heart. Exhale, tuck the tail, pull the belly in towards the spine, let the gaze fall between the knees. Inhale, arch the low back, open up the heart. Exhale, bring it in. And as you gently make your way into these cat cows, think about a slight engagement of the inner thighs and little engagement of the glutes here. Let the head drift down towards the floor, letting an opportunity for the neck to release. And one more time. Terrific. And then make our way back towards center. Nice job. Let's go ahead and come back onto our backs. 
So lying down on our back, knees are going to be bent, feet are going to be flat to the floor. Let's just begin here with a little pull-in of the knee. So draw the knee in towards your heart. If it feels comfortable for you, go ahead and extend your left leg long. And I'd like you just to, if it feels comfortable, maybe you just want to stay here because this is just enough for today. But if you'd like to, you can always take that right arm to the right knee and just go ahead and stir the pot here. Just kind of working through the joint, kind of exploring, being curious with your range of motion here, just seeing how it feels. Good. And then maybe explore reversing that direction. Take it in the opposite way. I like to close my eyes sometimes when I'm doing this just to kind of tune in. Just check in with yourself. Good. And then whenever you're ready, bring that right knee back towards center. This time, draw the right knee in as you slide the left heel back towards center. Cross the right over the left. Open up the right hip. Now here, you may just want to guide that right hip open. Maybe you want a little more. You can take your hands beneath the left thigh and just open up the hip. Give your glutes a little stretch. Remember, we don't want to strain through the upper body to make this happen. So see if you can relax through the shoulders, through the jaw. And from here, set your left foot down, unwind your right from your left. Open your feet as wide as your mat and drip your right foot in, allowing your pelvis to slightly turn inward. Come back through center, let your left foot drip in. You can feel a little stretch maybe on the side of the body. Come back through center, let your right hip drip in. Back through center, let your left. Back through center, let your right. One more time, come back through center, let your left drip down. And then slowly make your way back in through center. Toe heel your feet so that they are hip distance apart. This time, go ahead and draw the left knee in towards the heart. Take the right knee and extend it out long. Relax the right hip as you draw the left knee in. Relax through the upper body, through the jaw, through the eyes, through the eyebrows even. Even the follicles of our hair, just let them soften. Maybe you'll release the right arm and just stir the pot with the left hand. Kind of working your way through the hip. You may notice one side has a little more range than the other, maybe a little less. And just go to that with that curiosity. And then maybe when you find yourself coming back through center, you decide to reverse your direction. Just noticing here. How does this feel? Keeping that right hip really nice and planted to the ground. Good. 
and slowly come back towards center. Take the left knee in, slide the right foot in. Go ahead and set your left ankle over your right knee, opening up the hip towards the left. Just begin here, allow the hip to open. Maybe you wanna seek a little more stretch, a little more room. Take the right thigh in towards the heart. Allow the shoulders, the jaw, the eyes, the throat to just soften in its space. And when you're ready, go ahead and set your right foot down. Unwind your left from your right. Open the feet wide. Let the left knee drop in as the right foot extends out, or the right knee extends out. Pull back through center. Let the left leg open. Right knee dips in. And just kind of sway here from side to side. This windshield wiping the knees in and out. Wonderful. And the next time you make your way back in towards center, press the feet to the floor, drop both knees in towards the chest. And this time we're gonna go into happy baby. So a little more of a hip opener. If you have your socks on, you can still do it with your socks on. I'm actually gonna take mine off, but you can open up your feet, maybe hold on to the shin area. Knees are gonna pull in towards the shoulders. Just allow your hips to open here, inner thigh stretch. You can even rock yourself side to side. And that's what makes this the happy baby. <laughs> So just allow yourself to rock if you want to. You don't have to. Do what feels good for you. Maybe just allowing the hips to release is what's calling to you today. Good. And then when you're ready, we'll come back through center and release the feet to the floor. Bring the soles of the feet together, open up into your butterfly pose. Take a moment to just reset your sacrum, maybe give yourself a little bit of space. Opening up here through the front of the hip. This can feel really good. This can also feel really intense for some, especially if you've got a bit of a tighter low back. Maybe you feel like you're straining through the low back to open up. Really just find whatever works for you. Maybe you wanna bring your feet further away from your center point so that you have a little bit of space to release the pelvis and to release the low back. And then go ahead and slowly using your inner thigh muscles, maybe even taking the hands to the outer edge of your legs, bring your knees back in towards center. Nice job. Let's go ahead and roll ourselves to one side. Let's make our way into a standing position. And just slowly take yourself back to standing. Try not to rush. I know lately I've taken a few standing positions really quickly and I found myself, whoo, kind of losing my balance. So just take a moment. From here, inhale, extend the arms overhead. Both arms shoulder distance apart. Gently flow over to the right. Just hold for a breath. And then pull back through center and over to the left. And just hold your breath for a moment here. And then come back through center, release the arms out to a strong T, shift them behind you, either bring the palms together, rolling the shoulder blades back and down, open up your heart. And 
release the hands, set them to the side, roll your shoulder blades back and down. Let go of any baggage that is not serving you. Just let it drop to the floor as you roll back and down. When you're ready, reverse your direction. Pull it back and forward. And then when you're ready, come right back through center. Let's close our practice off today with a nice big inhale and exhale. As you're ready, sweep your arms, take a nice big inhale. Press your palms together, exhale to your heart center and give yourself a round of applause, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so honored to be able to work with you each and every week from my heart to yours. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.